today it is Christmas Eve <laughs> and amongst all of the other things that have to be finished today, I've got to get um, a double batch of cinnamon rolls made for breakfast tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I always try really, really hard to get everything done before we leave for the Christmas Eve service, but it never actually happens. <laughs> This year, the Christmas Eve service is even earlier than normal. It's at three o'clock and it is, it's five till one. <laughs> so there's no way that's gonna happen. So after we go out to our traditional Chinese Christmas dinner, I'm gonna have to roll them out and do everything else. Even though it's Christmas Eve, these are not just Christmas Eve cinnamon rolls. You can make these any time of the year, anytime you need a special breakfast. I would not recommend adding them to your weekly breakfast repertoire because it's just too much work. But if you need something to impress somebody at a brunch or, you know, even I've taken them places for dessert and they were a huge hit. Um, these, it's really a fantastic re recipe to have. I've been making this recipe for at least 10 years, possibly even more. I will link it in the description below. I will be including all of the tips and tricks that I've learned to make it even easier along the way. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so again, this is a double batch because we have 12 people that we're feeding for Christmas breakfast. So this is two cups of whole milk that I heated up in the microwave for about two minutes. Four eggs. The recipe calls for room temperature eggs, but I didn't do that. These are cold and we're all just going to deal with it. Okay, two thirds, yeah, two thirds of a cup of melted butter. This is obviously an enriched dough recipe. And now we're going to do nine cups of flour. And that's approximate. You just have to eyeball it once it starts mixing up. So I'm gonna count out loud, otherwise I will lose track. One, two, five. Okay, I like to do half the flour. Um, and mix it and then add the yeast in and then put the rest of the flour. I forgot the salt and the sugar. <laughs> so hold on, hold that thought. This is going to be two teaspoons roughly of kosher salt and a cup of sugar. Okay, let's try this again. Now I'm gonna add in the yeast. It's gonna be a heaping table, two heaping tablespoons. And then I will slowly start adding the flour. of flour just so that it was the right consistency. Um, let me show you what it looks like. There it is. So I'm going to let that mix for about nine minutes and then I'm going to let it rise for probably about an hour, hour and a half. After it's risen for about an hour and a half, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the refrigerator because it's when the dough is cold, it's a lot easier to get it rolled out properly. If it's still room temperature, it's still very elastic and it just snaps back and it takes forever. And honestly, it puts me out of the Christmas spirit. So we're going to go ahead and refrigerate it. Then once we get back tonight from the Christmas Eve service and dinner, I'll go ahead and roll it out then. Okay. 
had to call in my husband to help me get the lid off. So now we just gotta get all the dough out of here. Next year, I am going to remember to put it in a stainless steel bowl <laughs> to rise. We'll see if that's actually true or not. So the dough is nice and chilled. It's been in the refrigerator for probably three hours, maybe a little bit more than three hours. Um, so this will make it so much easier to work with. Yay. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of fold it into, um, well, we're gonna try to fold it into something that roughly resembles a rectangle. <laughs> We'll see how close we can actually get. This will just make it easier again to get it rolled out um, into the right shape. This is a big block of cold dough. So you just kind of have to manhandle it a little bit. We're gonna call that close enough. Okay, so now I have my rolling pin. I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour on it, and I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit, basically just the stuff that dropped down on it. Okay, I'm gonna start rolling it out. And as I do that, when I see a big break, like that one, a big crack, I'm gonna try and seal it up. I'm basically gonna try and keep this <laughs> in a rectangle shape as much as possible. I'm gonna try and keep it even as I go. dough laminator roller things. You just put the dough through it and it rolls it out for you, kind of like a, a pasta machine on steroids. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> about as good as it's gonna get this part right here it's a problem but I just can't make myself care enough to fix it so we're gonna go okay we are going to spread two sticks of softened butter all over the place the filling for these is very simple praise the Lord need simple right now. I don't know if I can stand a complicated recipe at this point. Rolling out that dough was enough for me. <laughs> some years it rolls out so easy and some years it makes you want to lose your religion. This was one of those years. Don't worry, I didn't lose my religion. <laughs> Came close. Okay. So, based on how thick this butter is, 
I really should have probably rolled it out further, but um, I just couldn't make myself do it anymore. So here we are. It'll be fine. Okay, now I need to go get the brown sugar and the cinnamon. Okay, we're gonna do two cups of brown sugar. Spread all out. Okay. And now we're gonna be doing five tablespoons of cinnamon. gonna go ahead and say we're only doing four <laughs> because like I said I did not roll this out quite enough so I feel like five would just be excessive okay last one okay now we're gonna start rolling um I'm gonna do this from the back to the front. Do you see how the dough is not sticking? It's just coming right up. That's because of that nonstick spray. That really is, once I figured that little trick out, it like revolutionized my cinnamon roll making. Now if I could only figure out a good trick for getting the dough rolled out. <laughs> better. I think I would be in business. Okay, I'm gonna scooch. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm just pulling the dough over the top so that when I go to cut it, um, I love doing that. <laughs> okay this baking dish with a non-stick spray. I'm going to use my bread knife. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these uneven ends. I'm going to put them to the side. We're still going to bake those. It's just not going to factor into how many rolls we get out of this tube. Okay, so now I'm going to cut in half. This is just the way to make sure that all the rolls are approximately the same size. So you're going to cut each half and half again. And then you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut each of these in half again, and each half in half. Okay. So I'm gonna end up with 16 approximately equal pieces. And this is one other reason why having the dough chilled is helpful. It just, it makes everything stick together when you're cutting it a lot better. Um, if this dough was still room temperature, this would be so sloppy. And it's already sloppy enough. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and layer, or lay these in the dish. I don't like to crowd them because they're gonna rise. So I'm just gonna do two per row. Um, I think I'm gonna do it like this, kind of stagger it a little bit. And I'm gonna grab my other dish. And it's already sprayed. And then I'm just gonna gather this up, this brown sugar and cinnamon, and Remember, this is a clean countertop. I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle it on top here. Okay, now I'm gonna take these two little misfits and put them on um, their own little tray, um, their own little dish, and they'll get eaten too. Okay, so here's what they look like from the top. I'm gonna leave these out at room temperature until I go to bed, so it is 
It's 7.20 right now. These will be out for probably at least three hours. Then I'll cover it with plastic wrap and put them in the refrigerator overnight where they will continue to rise just at a slower rate. When I get up in the morning for Christmas, I'll be taking them out of the refrigerator and letting them come to room temperature and then we will bake them together tomorrow. Okay, here are the cinnamon rolls. They have risen overnight in the refrigerator and they're getting ready to go into the oven. They look really good. Here are the cinnamon rolls right out of the oven. So now I just need to put the icing on top. Whenever I'm making these, I do a double batch um, of icing so that I can put as much as we want on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these iced. Okay, the cinnamon rolls have all been iced. So now it's ready to eat. I always um, make up some scrambled eggs to go along with it because otherwise it's the biggest sugar shock of your life. So mission accomplished, one more year. They turned out perfectly, even though we had trouble rolling them out. Merry Christmas. <laughs>